Okay, I'm gonna play some more Intensity Video on Lost 2 Studios version 0.869. And this time, yeah, I'm looking pretty cool, but this time I think they just Dungeon Runners mode. And this is the straight on the permadeath mode, pretty much. I die, it's over. So I want to try a different build. I'm normally doing sword and board. A lot of sword and board. Pretty much and boosting hit points, being durable, that kind of stuff. I want to do a mage, I think. Use dodge roll. Oh, I should definitely use dodge roll. Oh. You made me have purple hair. <laughs> Alright. Activate all shrines. Okay. He's something with sword and board again, though. I mean, he's very stylish, I guess, with that purple hair. Mm, yeah, I'll put on my cloak. Yay me. Uh, potions, G, and then turn in myself. How many talents is Sharpen with? I wish I'd start with one, just so I could differentiate the build, because it's, it's starting to shield sword board. It's not a bad idea to do that. Alright. It's... It seems running really good. 60 FPS. I turned off the MSI after burning my head just because I thought the fan was a bit loud. It's visually dark in here though, isn't it? A little flickering there. This is a pretty chill area. Is that a cool reflection there? It's a temple map map. Okay, so undead and bugs, as I recall. It's a really pretty map. No, I was wrong. Bandit. Well, I'm gonna cut you up. <laughs> Hell of a finish, right? Kick him dead! <laughs> Not in the game yet. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> nice little Whoa! Whoa, dude, don't do that. Alright, that's actually kind of dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I can funnel you like that, that's great. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> is that a gigantic toad store? Is it? Did I get it? That something? No, it's a dead body. I gather the mushrooms. I guess I got it. I must have run over it or something. It works. Which I'm actually recording, right? <laughs> that would be super. I am cool. It's just so seamless. I want to make sure it was. Really cool ambience. It's just it's a bit dark, right? The character would be cool if he gave off a little bit of light. The guy's freaking magical, right? So why not? <laughs> <laughs> Disappear. Oh, I got a bleed on him from the, the stab. It wasn't much I, for the mace. Stun. Stun is just an absolute. The bleed is just a little, just, just a little prick. Right? It's not enough. Oh. Yeah, they really can't. They may not be threatening, but if they get behind you. You can deal a lot of damage, but your guy's not durable. Yeah, he's auto picking it up, that's what it was. Almost like if you ever played Dark Souls, which you should probably play it if you haven't. If they have the uh, the character has like a file or a I think. Because he's not dead, right? That's not a spoiler. And it gives off light. Well it's active, right? That would help in here, just because it's a dark. And I don't I'm not gonna turn off the gamma or anything, but it's a bit dark. Uh, I do have a map I can use. Why try locking onto a few of them? Normally you don't want to do that versus multiple opponents. Versus a boss, sometimes you might want to. Okay. Yeah, I got myself to sit around. Oh, I'll go this way. Hmm. I don't have many of them outside. Mm -hmm, I missed. Second tab. Yeah! What if I just defeat him? And the tab turns off, great. Buckler. There's not that much loot. I think that was a change. You should drop more stuff. You guys really should be in groups. Even as a level one guy, I'm cutting through you like nothing. I see that herb. You can mushroom one. Mantle over that. What are you showing me? No, it's. I don't know. I don't see it. Let's head in there. I got my mushroom quest. If I get them all, I'll get huge, right? <laughs> I missed. Oh, 
Now that axe would hurt. He actually hit me with it. <laughs> oh wait, like that. I'm not dropping anything. Hmm. Before they used to drop a lot of stuff. It was a bit much, honestly. Halfway through the dungeon, you couldn't move. I guess it's a good change. Yeah, it was. There's a blade trap there. Chest, that's what you're after. Not locked. Take now the scholar, robe of slang, all play upgrades. No, that's crap, actually. Crap. The hammer's nice. Uh, sturdy, great hammer. It's two handed. Let's mess around with it. it. Doesn't have great reach. I can also do strong attack, but. I guess I'll mess around with it. I barely have a block, right? Yeah, I see, buddy. It works! More variety. Oh, I see you. Like how he swings, he goes for his knees. That'd be brutal. Oh, God, I need to walk right again. Down. An infernal carnation. I have flowers too high level for me. I can handle it. I just kind of like the big hammer. Uh, uh. He's walking there like a boss, huh? Although, here's the thing. Because they started me out with shield... I have it now have a special ability I can't really use. I'm gonna be one to the fox. It's an offhand boosting magic damage. Not bad. I can't shield bash with it. It looks cool. I actually want to try out magic. I'm gonna shop the two handed for a bit. So I level up and put some points in something. Pretty much anything but sword and board, pretty much. And I'm not really feeling archery. Archery feels just too easy. It's like, it's chosen as like the default thing to use, because your secondary stat seems it always has to be the bow, right? Say, so, I wish it didn't have to be the bow. It could be a two-hander. Or, think like Mountain Blade, like you could have throwing weapons, or. I mean, most people, Mountain Blade, you know, common reference point, right? They'll. They used a bow in the offhand, right? Just because it was so convenient, especially if you can get on a horse. Cool area, like a little amphitheater. But looks like I should go. Okay, so then, can I yeah, zoom out? Got to head out. Okay. I need five more mushrooms. These mushrooms are hidden out. All right, so nothing that way really. These whole, all these areas are procedural generated, so. I used to say which way to go. Can I... Is there a pass through there? I think I, I've been here, obviously. This is where I got the chest. No, it's not there. Alright, fine. Back I go. I'm about to level, it looks like. No, oh, it's halfway. I go a different color on that. So it's yellow and kind of like a mustard yellow. Like a little mustard. Oh, I go blue and yellow. It's kind of striking. Combination, right? Interesting morality. <laughs> Not black and white, it's uh, orange, green, orange, purple, blue, yellow, something like that. It's cool if the enemy has patrols too, so they come find me after a bit. I, I find the, the only real missions that have um, that have urgency to them are the ones that are timed, or the ones with the boss in the boss battle, obviously. I beat the crap out of you if you mess around too much. Because they hit hard, they have a lot of hit points. You hit hard, you don't have a lot of hit points. It's relative to them. Relative to, you know, these regular guys, sure. Right, so it has to be this way. I just must have missed. I have to go down, I think. Now over here, I see it. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me exactly where you are, buddy. Thanks. Well, you don't have a shield. Ooh, a heart. Ooh, a great hammer. An even greater hammer than the hammer I'm currently using, but it's also great. 
in there. Hey! Fine, you like that. If I had a bit more damage, I'd have been a two shot instead of a three shot, which is love a cap of devastation. It sounds horrifying, doesn't it? Hmm. Play Diablo, maybe. Please, like, see the bow. I really don't want the bow in the offhand, though. Uh huh. Uh huh. I mean, I actually have better already. I have better already. Stand on regen, that's pretty cool. I have a bow. See, I have to scroll down, I'll automatically swap to the bow. I say another thing to, to balance the bows a bit more, have them consume ammo. Because they're really powerful. It's not the most engaging thing if you expect as a sword and board fighter and then just almost be more effective. Or always be encouraged to just without your bow and just pew pew with them. Because it like costs you almost. I mean, it costs stamina. So. But it's not as bad as it used to be. See you. A gigantic mushroom be mine. Oh, dude. You missed. Oh, he's like, I can't believe it. You hit me in the back. <laughs> you bastard. I do definitely want to go to Andor, I think. To Andor magic. I want that shiny potion. No? I don't get to have that. I think that probably doesn't want to break. I got a ring. He auto equips it. That's really it's not useful to me. <laughs> not yet. Hopefully, it will be. 0.13 casting speed. Not exciting. I hear you. Thirty-six. So that's a power attack. This place is nice and lit. Damn! Smash it open. Uh, no, not yet. It's okay. I mentioned to the dev, I really want to smash those chests open. Looks really cool. Having a lockpick? Yeah. I mean, I appreciate the option, I guess, but I want more than one option. Smash it open. Like, as I smash the chest, it attracts enemies because of all the noise I'm making, say. So. Nice on that. No, I mean, I can't measure how effective armor is. I still don't know. I mean, it's better than nothing, but would I rather have the 10, 10, 10? I think I would. I'd rather have that. I was thinking of playing. It'd be kind of cool if you had, like, an ability to move traps around. Because our traps, like, are present, right? Imagine, like, whipping that, that blade trap out of the wall. And, uh, no, wait. What, what, what was that? Oh, one moment. Gabe didn't like something I did. Uh, it wasn't the game. It was my ports messing up my mouse. I just lost mouse control for a minute. It wasn't cool. Well, if it was going to happen, that was a good time for it to happen. Almost never happens. Oh, weird. Uh, I should mantle through that. I don't know, though. It's not cool. So I think they're gonna make me. I'm gonna have to fight the boss, which is, which is all right. I mean, I don't like. I'm pretty weak right now. I don't have any gear slots. Well, most of my gear slots aren't full. Level one, yeah, one. Let me jump down here. The enemies are thin in this map. They're spread thin. Okay, dude, you're dead. Wow. Oh, it'd be cool if they like they like variant rules. Like, what game does that? Mm, Flame Breaker does that a bit. Yeah, just that quite a bit actually. That's a fun gash plus one off. I need that. I need that. That's a cute mushroom. Right, those guys are actually threatening because I'm ages. No, no, it's bad. Alright. I might have to put the hammer away because I'll need the stun. Move fast. Yeah. 
I wish you'd start with. What's that give me? Just start with one talent point. That's good. Put five life steal. Life steal used to be massively overpowered. Oh, hey, this. Obstruction. <laughs> Amulet of the Phoenix. Cool. So slowly, yeah, two fire damage that does nothing for me. Pavis, though. Oh, he. Hmm. That's crap. Oh, I have that. I had it. Oh, that's what I spawned with. Like that. So I'm currently equipped with Wooden Shield of Reaper. Not bad. But Pavis has a little more to armor. Uh, the Warhammer of Sorcery. Yeah, we don't need that. Drop that. Great Hammer 21. Drop it. Great Hammer of the Scholar. Uh, so now I can at least stun people with this. I'm on the third or fourth attack, I believe. Yes, it's really good. And then I, once I get some XP, I'll be able to really specialize. It'd be cool if I could respect. Oh, maybe they'll start shoot sword and board, and then you can just respect them free. Let's see if I can do that, actually, right now. I know you can respect in towns, but this is the dungeon mode. Really, there's not really towns, per se, in this mode, at least. I don't see it. Oh, well. I need that, though. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A log pipe. Can't use it. That's something you should probably start with. Really lock pick. If that's the only way to get in lock chests, it's just a, it's a mean tease. Do not let me try. It's like the old Baldur's Gate. You can smash open chests at the risk of damaging stuff, right? Because, like, you break things. But not being able to take the chest. So, hell, being so freakishly strong, you just pick it up and take it with you. That'd be an option, too. That'd be really cool. You get 18 0, zero strength. Why not? There's the stuff. Oh, no. You're just dead. <laughs> a book! It's not reading time, it's killing time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have a blue bar that I can't really use for anything else unless I use a sh There we go, that's just done. See how helpful that is? Yes! Hammer the fool. Is that it? barrel counters hanging out, huh? All right, barrel. I know how it is. Ooh, goodies. This water looks really good. Male leggings of devastation. Uh, let's see. You put those on. Eh, a little more arm. Oh, play the leggings, the phoenix. The bows. Uh, who cares, really? Uh, oh, this is the big thing I care about. Hmm, nature's strike. If I want to do two handed. That's just general buffing. I've done the alchemy. I don't even know if I should do alchemy because I don't even have access to the towns, right? So, crafting, so. Shoot the highly charged bolt of lightning at your enemies. High chance of crit damage cause wander staff. I don't have all those things, unfortunately. Call chips are funny. Requires two-handed weapon for whirlwind. Hmm. Blood rage. Ah. Uh, oh my. That's that could that could add up. Firebolt. I need a wander stave. You know yourself and your companions. I don't have a companion. Firewall. Fire seems fun. Actually, frost would be really cool. Static charge. Ice trap. Like a magical trap that will burst and chilling spot. I need a staff. God damn it. Poison arrow. I'll take that. And then. If I click V, I can swap around potions. And then, I go into spells. I can search spells. And I can remap this to... I don't believe I can. Because really. there's no point keeping F on my bar, because I can't use it. But I 
can use this whirlwind. It's pretty much the whirlwind ability from Diablo to the Barbarian. Leather armor of the snake was it? Snake. Yeah. Smash the wall. Yeah. And a big weapon like this would be pretty good for smashing through things, right? Casting speed. I wanted to go magic, I really did. So what was it? C, C. I wish C I can swap those. This F's a nice location. Ouch! This spike trap's actually nasty. I mean, is heal slower too? Oh, shrine. Oh yeah. Long sword of fox, buckle of the mage slayer. Long swords in this are one handed or two handed? Mm. They are one handed. I'll make sword then. Two shrines are painting. What are we summoning? Oh, they're not. Okay. Okay. I'm just having to defend them. I guess I have to defend this one. That's cool. Luck, really? That makes me think of the. I think it was shrines. Shrines in the first Diablo, where you could find things and they gave you like permanent buffs. Some gave you permanent buffs. Others gave you temp. Or buffs. I should really play that game. I played it. They want me to find shrines, I guess. So I'll do that. I thought I was getting mushrooms, though. I do both. I do both these things. Can't reach it. Oh, well. Hmm. Uh, south, I guess? Yeah, this map is very... Mm. Ouch. That was nasty. Spike trap in the water. Ouch. Did you see a tetanus? <laughs> and blade traps, you know. Make the traps even nastier. Give them, like, a disease effect. A disease roll. Hmm. Then here. Yeah, this map has a lot of dead ends. I don't want that. I know that is. It's a really good looking map, though, isn't it? It's just this particular generation didn't give me much looping map design. Like, that's the thing. You ever played Zorbus? Oh my god, I love that game. It, the map, it's just, they just loop through everything. I really good like that. So there's very little backtracking is what's good about that. And I'm thinking about a city. A city's very loop-wise. Lo loopy too, right? You can build up city because you want multiple ways of egress to keep people moving, that kind of thing. Ah, oh, damn. So where the hell do I go? Not that way, I guess. Yeah, this, this, I gotta get there, I think. Miss this. It's a pocket change. Well, I guess I'll pause it and get back to where I'm supposed to be. One moment. Okay, I found it. The playing through the map is a bit like Lordaeron, honestly. From the first Lordaeron. Uh, <laughs> Lordaeron, Jesus. For Stark Souls. The environment's just. Here we go. At the elevations, it's kind of confusing. Three shot. Yeah, it's whirlwind. That's pretty fun. Oh, 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 no, no, stop it. So that's how you're gonna be, huh? Alright, so there's a little bit of a wind up on that. Great hammer of sorcery. That actually might be of use to me. the mushroom I want. Yup. Yeah. 
So you do heal, but it'd be cool if the heal was limited. Your stuff like your food. Grim Dawn does that actually. I think it does it very well. So you're not completely dependent on potions, like for, like in the Diablos, for instance. Grim Dawn's so good. It's it's not underappreciated at all. Everyone, a lot of people know how awesome it is, but perhaps not enough people know. Even if lots of people know, not everyone knows, right? It's just a way of playing. Yes. I see you, mushroom. One thousand, two thousand. Two seconds to wind that up. One thousand, two thousand, two three. Oh, it's really nasty. I love it. Yay! I did the quest. Defeat the boss to move on to the next. Oh, I have to kill him. I have to find him first. I see that. That's actually well hidden. Ouch. Excellent music direction, too. Yeah, he saw me. Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't believe it. His shield didn't save him. Four swings. Love it. I wonder if I can get two of those off with my mana supplies. Probably about two. Increase my damage a little bit. I'm really turn those guys into two swings. Which, when they're alone, doesn't matter at all. Alone, they're nothing. But, mm, in groups. Invigorating cloth pants in the fox. Mana steel. I actually value that. I'll take that. Because now I'm using mana. Mm, Soulbound. That's. that's Overweighted, which is really bad in this. It happens in the wrong moment, kill ya. Makes you think of like a good debuff for enemies, but on you slow you, weigh you, burden you, like, uh, there used to be an old spell in the Elder Scrolls. It took it out in Skyrim, which is lame, but it's like slowed things down more and more and more, and then like, they're moving like in heavy gravity, it was awesome. Couldn't jump. That was well hidden. And you could just easily kite them around. Activate the shrine. I mean, ooh, we have to activate all the shrines that activates the boss portal. Or maybe weakens the boss, or gives me a buff, something like that. That'd be really cool. Probably jump with some way to the boss. And that works too, I guess. It's like, what, what, how is he so strong? Like, what's his secret? Does it work out like all the time? Is he like, take a bowl of jelly? Does he, you know, he get the good supplements? He's got more than that, right? Hmm. I got anything good off that. Oh, that's shiny. Mana, I actually value that. Yeah, I'll take that. Every little drop of mana helps, now that I have use for it. Mana regen, that's good. Oh, I'm going over a half hour. It's easy to lose track of playing this game. Anyway, this is Dungeons of the Air Monster Studios. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Bye bye.